I may have punted the rest of this end game, which is kind of scary. Oh. Welcome to this week's Bower Battle Breakdown, where self-reflection is how we learn and grow. Now, right off the bat, I'm feeling really, really good about this lead. The electric terrain is up, so Venusaur will not be able to uh, participate in any funny business, and they have no way of denying Porygon setting up Trick Room outside of outright KOing it, which is why I decided to spend this first turn swapping out Tapu Koko, here in for the Incineroar to redu reduce sorry, the Groudon's attack. From there, I can simply click Trick Room and everything will be okay. Now, my opponent forgot about the electric terrain preventing Pokemon from falling asleep, so they click Sleep Powder anyway. Precipice Blades thankfully doesn't do much, and I get Trick Room up without a hitch at all. So I'm in extremely good shape extremely good shape i can now parting shot off of the groudon eerie impulse the venusaur and get in calyrex very very safely because both of my opponent's threats are very softened up at this point incineroar comes out calyrex comes in and venusaur will do sludge bomb i believe nope that's because groudon's going first groudon is going to do precipice blades it's going to do a little bit of damage. Venusaur will sludge bomb. Porygon is going to get poisoned, but it's not a big deal. I'm in a great spot. From here, we are in an extremely good position. Very good position. I'm going to click Glacial Lance, and I opt to foul play into the Venusaur just in case it is Focus Sash. My opponent swaps in their Zacian, which I thought was kind of a strange choice, but alas, here we go. Porygon 2 is going to clip Venusaur for a little bit of damage. And then Glacial Lance is going to finish off that Venusaur and do some pretty good damage into the Zacian. Venusaur goes away. We get the first Chilling Nay boost. Porygon gets hurt by Poison. So Groudon comes back in. And at this point, I feel like it is pretty important to reposition with Incineroar. While I'm in such a good spot, I do need to keep the Zacian in check because I am always just one Beyblade away from getting smoked. I protect with Calyrex and put in my Incineroar. And for as good as the last couple turns went, this turn goes even better than that. My opponent decides that they're going to Dynamax their Groudon, which is great because I just got it intimidated. And I'm going to opt to protect with my Calyrex. And my opponent decides that they're going to protect too. So this Incineroar basically gets in for free. And better than that, Max Flare is going to activate the policy through the protect on my Calyrex. At this point, it is my game to throw away. And unfortunately, this segment is going to be a little bit more sketchy. I decided to Dynamax my Calyrex at this point and to Max Hailstorm the Zacian, because I view it as a bigger threat to my Calyrex than anything else. And while that's technically true, that was a really big mistake, which I'll talk about here in the analysis portion. So Calyrex gets Dynamaxed, and I decide that I am going to Flare Blitz and Max Hail into this slot. So the Charizard gets KO'd, which seems good, which seems good, Except, if I had simply targeted the Groudon, I wouldn't be making this trade. Because what my opponent's about to do here is Max Quake, and they are going to take my Incineroar in exchange for that Charizard. Which is, is bad. <laughs> it's bad. Now that Zacian comes out and I don't have Incineroar, I'm in a much, much worse spot when Trick Room ends. Unfortunately, that last set of turns went so bad that now... Instead of being in a fantastic spot, I'm in a horrible spot. I'm obligated to max guard because Beyblade is a one-hit KO against me. I attempt to Thunderbolt the Zacian, but my opponent protects, which I thought was a really, really strange choice. Maybe my opponent thought that Tapu Koko KOs Zacian with a Thunderbolt. It does not. Tapu Koko will hold on with Focus Sash, but it doesn't ultimately matter because the hail is going to chip and KO it. Now, Calyrex did survive with the max guard, but at this point I'm just delaying the inevitable because I don't really have a good way to 
get Trick Room back up. Calyrex has an additional turn of Dynamax. I max hail, I forget which Pokemon I decided to attack, but it doesn't really matter because now that I've just max guarded, my opponent has the free Beyblade. Granted, it was still free last turn, but whatever. <laughs> Calyrex still goes down. And Porygon will survive the Precipice Blades here in a moment. But as you can see, it doesn't really matter because I'm poisoned, I'm outnumbered, outgunned, and that's how I epically threw away a game that was totally and completely mine. Everything went down the toilet as soon as I decided to Dynamax Calyrex. There are two layers to that that I want to talk about. First, with Max Hailstorm, I 100% targeted the wrong Pokemon. I decided to go for Zacian because I figured, hey, Zacian is a bigger threat to Calyrex than Groudon is. However, this line of thinking is very Calyrex-focused, when I should have been thinking more about the big picture. If I had simply done Fake Out into the Zacian slot with Incineroar, I get to max Hailstorm KO the Groudon for free. Because I didn't do that, my opponent sacrifices their Charizard, however, they get my Incineroar in exchange because I didn't think about Incineroar, I only thought of preserving Calyrex. The second layer to this is that I actually should have not bothered Dynamaxing in the first place. The thing that I just mentioned was I made the wrong choice. When I Dynamax and I use Max Hailstorm, I choose one target. I chose Zacian, I should have chosen Groudon. However, with one Chilling Nay boost and the Weakness Policy boost, my Calyrex is at plus three, so everything dies to Glacial Lance anyway. Not only did I pick the wrong target, I could have circumvented the targeting question altogether just by simply clicking Glacial Lance over and over and over and over again. Sometimes you need to make a tough choice to sacrifice a Pokemon in order to gain or regain the upper hand. This wasn't it. Protect your Pokemon, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Bower Battle Breakdown. I hope it gave you some practical ways to think about approaching your own games. I'd like to stick around for some more content. I have another video up here that you can go watch after this one. And that's my time. I'll see you next week.